Uh, just to note with this spicy Thai shrimp fried rice, I added eggs and avocado to mine. I just wanted to spruce it up a notch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be well. This is the Trader Joe's shrimp, spicy Thai shrimp fried rice. Okay. And you know something? There's an incredible amount of flavor going on inside that rice. What we basically have is a bunch of par cooked rice, which you guys can maybe take a look at and see. And we have some shrimp that's been seasoned, right? We're gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. We don't have a lot of shrimp. That's fine, right? Um, we got, not a bad idea, maybe I feel like I should just add some more shrimp to it, but that's another story. Okay, I've got a pan, we've got some, because I wanna be a little bit healthier. And I'm just gonna, and there, that would take about the teaspoon. The wok thing is going on there. And in goes the shrimp. And these shrimp are small. They're like, I'm not even used, I'm really not used to shrimp that are this size. But well, I'm not even gonna say that. Cause I'm gonna sound, or I'm gonna sound nuts. Whatever though, in any event. So I've got the shrimp. It's got great flavor, I can smell it. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt us down into the pan now. I wanna stay focused on the pan. All right, so we're focused on the pan. The instructions say, I'll uh, just put it in, right? So the shrimp turn a little bit pink. I've got some good caramelization going on in there. Right there. Add in the right. And guess what? I hear a lot of sizzling going on. And I gotta tell you, there's a lot of flavor. But oddly enough, this thing, this is, it promises a microwave or the ability to microwave. I don't know why you want to microwave fried rice. It's the first time, but it's flavoring in there. I see pieces of ginger. Look, so you guys can see this. Right, I'm actually going to do a little bit of so you guys don't burn myself. I'm just going to tilt it. I'm going to tilt it forward and I'm just going to. Not a bad idea. And I think that this product is actually functioning marvelously. I didn't use a lot of oil. The whole kitchen smells. This is the everything I think from the pan on to the product is just very good. Okay. And I've got a few minutes. I had this in there for a few minutes. I'm just going to now. It's been on high heat. I hear that popping noise like fried rice. What I'm doing is I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push all this to the side. Like right here, I'm just gonna make this a little space, push it up on its heel. Just gonna put that in there. Okay, we're gonna add. I'm going to add that egg to that minute because I'm going to Okay. So the egg is over here and I'm going to just quick stir the egg around. Okay. And now I'm going to grab it. Bottom top like I did before. I like big chunks of egg. Some people right off the bat just start because that because the because the rice is hot. It's a weird thing because like the rice is hot, right? So the rice and the egg will start going cooking together right away. So it depends, you know. If you don't if you don't like this much chunks of rice, I like my fried rice with egg. To I like to be able to see the egg for some reason or another. Okay, and cover. Let's do a couple of things with this avocado, right? I am just going to just come down. Okay. 
No actual gun stuff in here. Right, and we're just gonna do just this is not gonna be perfect, avocado fans, to be honest with you. Because it really it really actually doesn't matter. So I've got that. The rest of this avocado I'm gonna go like this. Right? This and this, and I'm gonna to toss it into the rice. Give you an idea of the serving size. This is about the serving size. This is I forgot the size of this is, but for anyone that's into ceramics, this is what it is, all right? So if I had even a little small bowl, I could even put this off to the side and then probably put like another protein there, put a vegetable there. But um, I just did this for the purposes of doing this thing here, one shot, boom, that's it, right? And I'm just doing it just so that way I can pile high in one area, that's it. It almost looks dog, dog plate-ish, one would call it rustic. Whatever. You know, it just depends. It depends on where on where you're at. Rustic, rustic. One man's rustic is another man's dog plate, right? So that's pretty much just it. And this, everyone, is the Trader Joe's fried rice. I think that's roughly about a pint. It looks good, right? It's very good. How about that? This isn't just. Damn it! This isn't just okay. This is good. This is good. For the for the price, the portion, fast. This is probably one of the fastest meals I've ever prepared, and it's good. I'm telling you, 